Hey guys, today I'm just going to do um, a little Dian, Rubik, uh, Dian Cube review, and I'm going to show you a 2x2 two two Mario Cube. And they're both pretty smooth. Uh, I just wanted to show you this custom Dian Cube that I, sh um, that I made. Um, this is a blue cube. It may not look blue, but it is, trust me, see. It may look black, but it's blue. Very dark blue. I customized it so um, there's like these pieces can like be split in half and the corner pieces can also be split into three parts. You see, like there's this like split right there. You can customize it like that. Like rearrange the, um, the way it looks and that's what I did. Uh, this is just what the core looks like. Hold on, let me just get this other corner out. This is what the core looks like. Very nice, like this, the edges, like the pieces are very fatter, I guess. Very, very big um, against the actual like core right in there. It's very odd about that. So just let me put this back together. So yeah, um, I customized this. So yellow is opposite white still. Green is next is uh, next to blue, and red is op is next to orange. In a regular Rubik's uh, regular cube, orange is opposite red, blue um blue is opposite green, and yellow is opposite white. So yeah, I I was able to rearrange it, and that's um it's pretty cool. Um, now for the review, it is a ver the dying cube. I do recommend it. Is a very, very nice cube. Um, uh, like it corner cuts very well too. Like up to here, that's a forty five degree corner cut. It's a, it's a very nice corner cutting cube. I do. I also may recommend the Zanchi. But once I do get it, I'll make a review on that. Uh, the dying cube I do recommend right now. Although, m if you do take apart the cube or or the center pieces like this, and then you put it back on, it may pop off once you're like corner cutting or something. And if you take them off and then you put it, take the pieces off and then put them all back together, it may not. It, you may feel a difference in the in the movement. Uh, the the crispier smooth. It's kind of crispy but mostly smooth. Uh, you could actually like hear it a little bit. Um, you see these little dots there, the one, two, three, four here. That helps it corner cut better. Like see, and like it'll like s uh, if it's there, it'll slide off like that. Like um, these two, if it's over a little bit, and then you turn it, it'll like slide off like that so that's a nice touch to that if you have a regular rubik's cube you could like um take um sandpaper and then like shave it so it'll look like that and then you may get that feeling there but then you'd have to like also shave it to like look at like these pieces so it will actually be very hard um so yeah it's a very nice cube you should you should get it i got this one at a Rubik's Cube uh, competition. It was like $15, I think. The blue one I got off of Amazon, $13 with shipping. So yeah, I do recommend these cubes. It's a very nice cube. Um, you can make a good gift. Uh, yeah, so it, it's just really nice. I, I just really like using this. I barely pick up my regular Rubik's Cube now. Now for the 2x2. Two a 2x2, two. A two two, this one is a Maru. So, and I also got this at a Rubik's Cube competition. Uh, the Bridgewater Open 2011, New Jersey. Um, this one actually does corner cut, which is kind of odd. Yeah. Um, it, it turns very fast, and um, this one came with lube, too. And, like... Um, you could like lube it, uh, lube the two by two, and it'll make it go very smooth, and and like um, it'll make the cube go really fast, and like um, it may be a little hard to scramble. Let me just give you a quick solve 
on this cube. Um, I just let me hold on. Uh, okay, let's see. Just a little. Um, okay, ready, set, go. You can use the same method for a three by three on a two by two. You just skip all the edge pieces. I think that's my best time, maybe about 12 seconds. Um, I don't know, I can't see from here. Uh, I don't have my timer handy. Um, a 2x2 two two is a very good thing to use. Um, that was a very quick solve, and again, you could use a Frederick method, only you just gotta put the corners in. There's no edge pieces to place. It's a very nice cube, I do recommend buying this. I think this was $10 at the competition. Um, but on Amazon, they probably they go for like seven dollars. Um, a Rubik's a Rubik's two x two will probably be more on the stiff side. This is a very smooth cube, especially after I added the lube. So yeah, I recommend getting this too. Um, yep, they're really great cubes. Um, they turn fast. Uh, this one is a little crisp. Uh, no, nowhere near crispy. It is a very smooth cube. Uh, corner cuts. Although, uh, and actually, I haven't found out how to take it apart because I like I, I, when I corner cut, I see this odd little screw in there. I don't know if we're supposed to unscrew it to take that apart or whatnot. Um, and I don't think I'm trying it, or else I don't want to break it. Okay, thanks for watching.